All right, welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta and this is our video on Wireshark. In this video, we are going to set up and customize our Wireshark. The first, uh, the first uh, section of the series would be to focus on Wireshark preferences. Okay, so um, let's begin with the preferences first. I'll share my screen and... Um, yep. So I hope you can see the screen. Remember one thing, the installation of Wireshark is pretty straightforward. You just have to you know, click next, 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 and it's all done. So what is really important is uh, customizing the Wireshark features as per your need, okay? So now uh, we'll, uh, we'll work on the, uh, we'll, uh, we'll first be looking at the preferences option. So you can go to the edit option. So basically, once you install and set up your, you know, installation is done. This is this is what you see. Once you open your Wireshark, uh, we'll be covering about captures and display filter in the later videos. But for now, we'll talk about the preferences. Okay, so you can go to the edit option, and this is where you will find preferences. In the preferences, we'll go from top to bottom, and then first we'll cover uh, the appearances. Okay, in the appearance. Uh, we have a few options available. We have first column. Okay, now let's understand this. Column is uh, is something which is where you have an option of adding new new column while you see the packet live. Okay, so what do I what do I mean by that? Is let's say I open a new Wireshark window. Okay, somewhere here, and uh, let's say I select interface. In order to see the packets, you have to select an interface. So let's say I select my Wi-Fi interface. This is what you see, right? And let let me stop the capture. And this is the this is to start the capture. What you see in the blue, and uh, this is to stop the capture. You can see stop capture packet, right? Now uh, there are multiple columns on the top. You have number, time, delta, source, destination, protocol, length. By default, you won't see Delta. I customized this already. That's why I see that. Okay. Now you can add multiple other columns as well here. So for example, currently you see only these column fields. I can add a new column somewhere over here. And let's say I uh, there are multiple options available like uh, on the type field. So let's say I select let's say i want to see the port number okay so let's find out okay yeah so you see the source uh you have destination port unresolved and uh if we say dst port okay so i'll say dst underscore port and let let me add a new column as well um let let's add uh, source port then okay so source port unresolved, and I'll say the short form of this title would be SRC underscore port. Well, I mean you can go for anyone. I I usually go with I usually uh, spend a lot of time with Splunk, so I prefer to use that uh, you know nomenclature or style. So once you click OK, you will you will see a new. Uh, if I close this and I'll open a new window you should see a new window, a new column open up. So if I stop the packet capture, you can see on the right, you have DST port and the source port. Now you see uh, all the information with the source and destination port as well, okay? So that's the purpose of column. Next. Now next, uh, if uh, next we have other options. Other than column, we have fonts and color. So you can decide what color you want to prefer. A green, red, they, that's the simple options. Uh, you can also see what is the purpose of this color. So you can see this is the sample ignore packet text uh, or maybe sample follow stream. Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Sample valid filter and this is most selected. So sell a sample active selected item. So if I select any packet, uh, what would be the color? If I don't select it, this would be the default color. Let's say I collect this. So this is the selected color, right? You see in the blue. So this is the color for uh, simple color, okay? It's font color, basically. Now let's talk about the layout. Now layout is very important because uh, when we talk about the layout, there are 
different pain uh, options that is available. You have packet pain, uh, packet list, uh, you have uh, packet detail and everything, what you see in the de uh, detail below, this is a frame information as well. So you can decide how do you want to see the entire frame and structure, packet diagram, frame detail and everything, okay? Now next, let's talk about the capture option. And now capture option is also very important. You can actually set the set your default interface. Be uh, if you if you remember uh, when I when I first launched the Wireshark, I had to select the specific interface, right? So you can set the default interface here so that you don't have to do it every time. And then you can specify, you know, uh, capture. You can enable capture packet in promiscuous mode. So promiscuous mode is basically a, a mode wherein uh, is used to monitor uh, all the network activity, everything in the in the uh, without actively being involved. So if anything happening in that network related to network acting uh, activity or diagnosis. Uh, activity issue is connectivity issue as well. You can do that with promiscuous mode. Um, uh, you can capture the packet in PCA NG uh, P PCAP NG format. This is the latest format. This is the format where you can export any packet capture and share with anyone. Okay, so that's also very important. You can define the list of packets in the real time. So you can update the list as well if you want it. Okay, rest everything is related to the intervals and packet capture. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you also have an option to disable external capture interface or enable it as well. Okay, next let's uh, uh, next we also have an option of expert. So expert is in a very advanced option because uh, you will find a uh, different severity of certain expert items that you know does uh, that does not match your need. So you can create a specific severity for specific fields on those situations. So I can create uh, you know sp uh, maybe field name related to that. Uh, and then I can say, okay, for warning, comment, or any other specific data, I should have a different expert field. So we can get the field name from selecting the field in the packet detail itself. So once we start getting the packet, we can you know right click it and analyze it in the expert panel itself. So we have a lot of uh, pre-built information. I can show you in the if you go to the analyze, go to the expert information you see these are all the inbuilt pre-built information okay these are all pre-built alerts and information related to warning notes chats and everything but you can even create some custom options as well like critical or uh, uh, informational as well okay next um, next we'll have we have a filter button so filter button is very useful. It's like a bookmark. It's like a shortcut. Okay. So let's say I have, I want to, I have applied some, uh, maybe uh, display filter, like IP address equal to equal to 192.168.29.6. Okay. So, uh, currently i don't see any packet let's let's start the capture and let's see if i see any packet okay i don't have any packet yet but let me refresh and see let me initiate some traffic and see i'll ping this destination give me one second yeah, perfect. Can you see we started getting ICFP because I, I started pinging that destination. You can see I can actually create this as a, you know, as a shortcut button, a filter button. Let's say um, this is my Kali machine, okay? I can create a label for Kali machine and I can say for head hunting maybe. And I can save this filter. The moment I save it, I get a button on the on the right on right right so even if i let's say close everything i just click on kali linux i should kali machine and i should uh, this filter will be applied now on the uh, uh, preferences side you again have 
uh, an option. Uh, you can even create something here as well. If you see, I created this on the display, but uh, this got automatically created. You can create and add new filter button over here as well. Just have to click plus, give a name, maybe let's say Metasploit filter. And then you can add your filter, maybe port, maybe TCP port. 444 four, four. okay so i created this now you can you can apply this anytime and it will be executed okay now let's go to the next option which is uh, name resolution okay now name resolution is also very important feature uh, by default when you enable the name resolution on the wireshark uh, you can see the domain name instead of uh, ip address okay for example, uh, let's say I get all the traffic lights. So you see, we, we see just the IP address in the destination. What I can do is I can go to, you know, I, I can usually uh, uh, in the, uh, yep. Yeah, so I have an option wherein I can specify uh, the option to uh, use the name resolution so that I, in spite of seeing the, IP address in the destination side, I can see the domain name of it. So in the name resolution, if you by default, the physical address resolution is selected so that the OU, OUI field of the MAC address can be identified. But if you select the network address as well, it also check, let me stop this. It also check the destination uh, DNS lookup as well. So you can see this is just an IP address, but this is the actual fully qualified domain name. So Google user content.com, right? So that's something which we can enable. By default, it uses the system DNS uh, server, name server, but uh, you can also configure a custom DNS as well over here, right? So this is pretty much possible. You can do that over here. Um, next option is related to protocols. So when you go under protocols, there are multiple protocols available. Uh, every protocol has their go has their own custom information related to wireless or maybe related related to TLS. So most of the time, uh, we uh, get to do changes on TLS side where we have to upload pre master key in pre master key in order to decrypt the SSL traffic or HTTPS traffic, okay? So this is something which we can do here. So that, that's about protocols. Uh, we Next, we also have an option of statistics, okay? So in the statistics option is pretty cool because uh, with the statistics, you can, you can define multiple parameter. Uh, let's say if you enable the uh, calculation of burst information, uh, burst information allow, um, you basically, this allows the, system statistics tree uh, to calculate the burst information. And you can even find this information, statistics information in the protocol hierarchy as well. So let's say I go, I can go to the statistics. Under this, we have a protocol hierarchy. And if I open this, I can actually, this is very, very informational for, information for threat hunting and multiple network activity as well. Let's say you want to find the top talkers or you want to find all the affected system, uh, not really affected system, but you want to see which protocol is taking more time. If you want to analyze the anomalous, anomalous traffic, suspicious traffic in the network, you can do it from here. Let's say you got a packet capture from a security team. Now you want to, or maybe any other application team as well. Now you want to identify which one is, uh, you know, uh, is there any unwanted protocol uh, moving on? or what protocol is taking how much traffic in the network. So let's say if I see DNS is taking a lot of uh, packets uh, in the network, so this looks suspicious for me and I can then start working on and you know start uh, performing the threat hunting as well in the network, right? So that's, that's very, very inf uh, in, uh, informational. And even in the statistics option, we have information related to conversation. So you can see what IP address is talking to whom. You can enable a name resolution, and usually we go for 
IPv4 configuration and we, we try to see which IP address is, is actually top talkers. So we, we can identify, let's say, this 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 uh, source and destination is is actually exchanging a lot of information and uh, even we can look at based on the bytes as well okay it's 31 byte uh, of, of megabytes of information we can also uh, find the conversation based on tcp and udp as well so this is very very informational from the security point of view okay now, uh, the final thing is uh, that we will cover is the RSA key. Now, again, I, RSA key is, again, informational from the decrypting the traffic. So you can uh, upload your key here and, you know, troubleshoot further. Okay. So this is all about customizing wire, uh, Wireshark and mainly the preferences option. Do let me know if you have any question about the video. I would love to answer that. Thank you so much. This is me, Rajdeesh Gupta. We'll catch you soon.